Jeremy's eighteen seventy three here are Baz. Yes, I am back again. You thought you'd got rid of me. No, I am like that proverbial bad penny. Bad smell. That it should just won't go away. Yes, that's me, I'm back again. Ha <laughs> ha. And um first things first. I know it looks weird, but you know what I'm doing? I'm taking away the little screen. Because I always look at the fucking little screen. And it just bugs me. Anyway, quick recap on what's going on. Um Hurt my shoulder, I've been off for the last few weeks, kind of sucks, but it's getting better, so, fingers crossed. Um, I've been busy at work, yes, can't get all done because I've been that busy at work, and here we've been decorating the house and other bits and bobs, so again, pfft, too much to do. Um, big shout out to um, the Pimp Daddy, you'll know who he is, yes sir. Um, Thank you, thank you very much for the big shout out, I really appreciate that, that's very cool. Um, uh, remember folks, Auto Assembly 2010, it's not too far away-ish, and I've been told by um, somebody, if I don't mention it in my videos, he's going to shoot me. But that's just a lie, but it looks so dramatic. <laughs> yeah, anyway. And I am still saying anyway in my videos because I just do. So what we're going to do for reviews, but I was trying to think, try and get back into the feel because it's been nearly two months. And by the way, hope you all like the new opening credits. It's a bit different. If you don't like it, please tell me why. And I'll try and change. I want to do something different, so please give me some feedback because um, I want to do something that's cool. Um, yeah, so I was thinking, what am I going to do as a... Um, a review, because you know, there's that many things going about and that many people have stuff and you're trying to make it a little bit different. And um, so I'm going to try and do two. Probably not going to work. Um, and they're all assembly purchases, yeah. Eganis. And we'll just get right in nice and tight with the Eganis. I'll just shift my big heat out of the way. And look at the camera. It's not good. Look at the face detail on that. And actually the whole body detail is really well sculpted. Bring me back into focus, thank you very much. I'm the star here. And uh, it's a nice little thing. I've got one of the other ones, I think. I've got a Ganis, um Have I got a Ganis as a transmitter? Maybe not. Well, I've got one of the other similar versions, I suppose, to, to a Ganis. But he's not the quick release one. You've got the quick release one, which is... This chappy here. Get me back at the way here, as we. Nope, can't get into shot with that one. We'll try again. There we go. Get my big nugget out of the way. There you go. Quite a little cool face design. Can't use armor hide or something like that. Yeah, there's an armor deal anyway. But I digress. So I do apologise. We'll get on to. I think it's Aganis, um, Mr. Feely. Please. Um, let me know if I'm buggering that up, which wouldn't be the first time. He does have a nice little weapon. There's his weapon here, lovely. Get my head out of the way again, get him into nice high def quality there. Ah, lovely job. Uh, transformation is very simple because it's on the spring loaded version of the Beast Wars. Um, tail transforms relatively simply into the tail. Very cool. So we'll take Aganis. Yes, his legs flip around like so. Quite similar to the, the Megatron as well, who's over there at the moment, and uh, the, beast, the the first Beast Wars Prime, so quite cool. So we just basically, you've got a little loop here, which we pull up and lock into place. Surprisingly, after the amount of years that has been out, that it still locks in exceedingly well. Um, so if I'm right, that's the only way I can think it does it. Because again, no instructions on this chappy. So, yeah, so that looks fucking good. Apologies for swearing, I shall beep that out if I haven't already. Yeah. So there, as again, let's get my big noggin at the way. Nice head detail, lots of frills. I'm trying to think what version of animal he is, but yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? No. But again, lovely detail on the back. It's a nice little figure, very simple. Again, get me back in focus, star. Um, remember, if you like Beast Wars, 
then this is a chappy for you. If you don't like Beast Wars, then there's no point buying it. But again, to fill in the collection, it was pennies. Seriously, it was like three, four quid, I think. It, uh, it didn't cost a lot. It was on sale. Apologies. But yeah, cool little figure. Right. We'll divert from this Beast Wars little figure. And they do line up pretty well. Actually, if you look at the... The two of them, they're quite cool together, actually. I like that. I don't know how to be just laying these now. Next we go on to... Where am I? It's a Seeker I had to get. I know I'm not a big Seeker. I don't mention the Seekers very often and such. But this one was pretty cool, so I had to get him. And he is... Ramjet. Yes! It's a Henky Ramjet. See, you've got silver. Uh, again, it's, it's not a pure white. Don't let the camera fool you here. We'll just see if we can get my shot. Probably not. Oh, there's his head there. Lovely. Yeah, um, that's Conehead. And he has a really nice version of um, the classics mold from uh, Starscream. I like the way they've done it. They've changed up a bit. They've altered the mold as well. They just haven't left it as basically some of the other ones like Dur not Dur Thundercracker and we have that's the storm here as well again this is a basic copy for copy but we with uh, the ramjet the cone head and um they really have outsailed outsell themselves with this one i really like it given finally and uh, nice big cannons again, similar to the ones that Ramjet came with. Again, different from the other weapons that were available for the Starscream mode. Um, transformation is relatively the same, so I'm not going to do it on camera because everybody has it. The only slight difference we have are the wings here and the head. So we'll just go straight into this and have a little. Bit. Again. Uh, this is him in playing mode. Uh, slightly different. I like that he's got nice big, I take it, ram jets. Uh, so we give him more more flight, more speed. Um, what else can you say about ram jet? I know you can see the head underneath here. That's there. Uh, there you go. Um, apart from that, it's a, it's a really nice figure. I like the, the, the mold for the, the classics. Uh, jets. They've done a really good job. They've made them look absolutely fine. And he's got Decepticon and logos underneath as well, which is quite cool. Uh, yeah, so there's not a lot much more you can say about them. That was uh, two of the figures I got at Auto Assembly 2009. Remember, it's on next year, so pre-register now. Or Dave's going to come and hit me with a big stick. Um, um, yeah, so stay tuned. More to come. Any request, give me a shout. Alright, bye.